Thank you very much, Steve. Well, first up tonight, road rage. No, not the kind you're thinking of. The kind that happens every spring while traveling over cracked, bumpy, pothole-ridden roads. Every year, it seems we say we've never seen it this bad. Until the next year, when we say we've never seen it that bad. Make no mistake, though, this year is bad. Kellen Sundahl, armed with a traffic safety vest and a ruler, hit the road to measure how badly the roads are pocked, and she joins us now with results. Kellen? Well, Jason and Bruce, we went looking for potholes, and guess what? We found some, just a few. I brought proof, even. There's no question they're along our highways and our cities, and at times, unfortunately, unavoidable. Potholes are like weeds. For every one you get rid of, two more crop up. There's some rather significant ones around that could probably do a lot of damage to your vehicle. We decided to suit up. Safety first, of course. With our trusty tools, we went to measure potholes. We didn't have to dig deep to find some winners or losers. 26 inches or 66 centimeters. This one is so wide, I don't even know if my arms are long enough. Okay, 112 centimeters or 44 inches. Holy cow. Others agree with our estimates. What are you seeing when you're driving around about the state of our roads? Uh, a lot of the main streets have still some very severe large potholes. It's not hard to see remnants of vehicle versus red collisions. Road shoulders are like graveyards for hubcaps, bumpers, and other bits and pieces. Between replacing, rotating, and repairing tires, there's lots to do at this garage. A common customer complaint, here's a clue. It's a compound word, starts with a P. We see a lot of uh bent rims, blown tires. The mechanics say potholes and rutted roads can cause hidden damage to your vehicle. By hitting potholes too, if you don't do any damage, in nine times out of ten you end up uh, putting the car of alignment. So we went to talk to one of the guys in charge of highways in Nova Scotia. As this weather gets warmer and the roads dry out, our crews are able to get hot mixed asphalt now. So we'll be out there doing more permanent fixes and you'll see the, uh, the roads will steadily get better over the next few weeks. Kevin Mitchell also asks that motorists be patient and careful around road repair crews. We'll slow down, watch out for our crews. That's their workplace. So we want to make sure that they're out there, that they're safe, and that people respect that they have to be out there fixing these roads this time of year. The province will spend about $80 million on road repairs this summer. And if you're not careful, you'll likely spend money too, fixing your car. And after today, I think I'd tell you that Maritimers almost like talking as much about potholes as they do about the weather. Well, everyone wants to talk about kind of what's the deepest or the widest pothole in their neighborhood or along their route to work. And I think, Jason and Bruce, you are going to highlight perhaps the worst potholes in the Maritimes coming up. You're going to do that uh, very shortly, Kellen. We'll do that, I Kellen. I look forward to it. And I actually recognized, sadly, I recognized a couple <laughs> in the story there. Kellen, See thank you very much. See them driving to work. Uh, so today, CAA shared with us uh, the top finisher in the uh, annual Worst Road in Atlantic Canada online competition. Here are the results now from more than 4,000 votes. Okay, let's back them down. Starting at number five, Route 616, Keswick Ridge, New Brunswick. That's west of Fredericton. Coming in at number four, Route 480, Burgio along Newfoundland southern coast. Our next stop, number three, is the Marble Mountain Road, not the one in Newfoundland, but uh, the Cape Breton community of River Denny's. And number two, CAA's runner-up, back to the Fredericton area, Charters Settlement Road, and where else? Charters Settlement. Okay, enough of the maps. Mm -hmm. Later in the show, we are going to visit the absolute worst road in Atlantic Canada and show you why it deserves the dubious honor. Also tonight, we'll visit the Canadian